just arrived at Bicester Village. For anyone that lives kind of like down south in the UK, probably comes to Bicester Village all the time. But for us from the north, it's a real novelty and we've actually never been here before. So yeah, quite the experience for us. It said that all the car parks were full and that we were going to have to get the park and ride, but we risked it and we literally got in a space straight away so we were very very lucky um but it looks incredibly busy obviously it's a friday it's the last friday before december it's clearly going to be busy lots of christmas festive shoppers but we're really excited just to go and have a little wander explore it maybe if we see anything that'll be great but even if we don't just see what it's like and have a little explore so we're going to take you with us today um we're not 100 percent sure what the rest of our plans are for today but yeah we're going to have a lovely day in vista village and then probably get some dinner a bit later so we're actually on an overnight stay um tonight down south and we've got a couple more plans tomorrow we're going to the warner brothers studio tour the harry potter studio tour and we're also then heading into london in the afternoon for like a festive afternoon and some dinner um at the barclay which is one of our favorite favorite hotels probably our favorite hotel in london um so i'm going to split it up into a few different vlogs but this is probably your first like actual vlog that you'll be watching because the last episode of vlogmas was kind of decorating the tree at home and it's kind of an at home cozy vlog and this one we're out and about doing things festive things so yeah hopefully this is a little taste of what's to come throughout vlogmas yeah i really hope you enjoy the vlogs and yeah definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along for vlogmas so I'm with Chester and we're gonna head into Vista Village now. So we actually we actually made it in like the multi-story car park area and they've kind of shut this off now. I think it was just incredibly lucky timing.
so just got back in the car. Please I make a U turn if possible. Oh. Um, I hope that there's enough footage. I tried to take bits of footage as we were going round, but a lot of shops are quite strict. I only got asked to not film once, which I think was in Balmain, I think. Um, but some of the others I just didn't because I didn't want to be told again not to. They were really nice about it, but you know, it's just a bit like embarrassing, especially when you're vlogging in public anyway. In summary, the our first visit to Bista Village was that it's a beautiful place. It's got a lot of potential and I'm sure on some days the stock and items are really good. Our experience today was it was Please heaving. Sorry, the sat nav is chatting away, but it was off. heaving for a start. So, so busy. We could, honestly, people were like pu pushing other people away like it was that busy and the stock just wasn't that great in places we had to queue to get in like virtual queue to get into a lot of the shops which was fine because it meant we could go around other shops as well um but it just meant like quite a bit of waiting around and not really having not really being able to go into the shops we wanted to straight away actually we got into the white company shop which ordinarily would be an amazing shop but obviously with the launch of truly neutral collection pretty much anything that i would have potentially bought in there before i won't now because a lot of the products are the same similar um and i must say the slippers in there they only had like one variations of slippers they felt nowhere near as soft as our slippers like that is not me just saying that they really didn't like they, they had loads of good like candle stock and and kind of like the soap and body um gift sets which is amazing obviously if you want to buy gifts and we're releasing candles really really soon so obviously not going to be using any other candles than my own because i have spent so long testing them and i know how good they are yeah all in all it definitely wasn't a wasted trip we had a really lovely time wandering around we just popped into prep for some quick lunch chester got a sandwich on the way down and i well i did get um, a greg's pasty and it was cold so i didn't eat it probably sounds really bougie doesn't it but i really don't like them cold i specifically asked him if it was warm anyway um so i got some soup in prep because we were really hungry we're probably going to end up just going for some like quite casual chill dinner tonight maybe a nando's somewhere around but we're actually made a very last minute plan to go across to blenheim palace that's how you pronounce it isn't it i think it's pronounced blenheim blenheim something like that um but we've seen a lot about it on instagram they've got the, lots of like christmasy things up at the minute super festive obviously ordinarily we would never go because it would just be way too far to travel like three and a half four hours down um from leeds to come to uh, see some sort of christmas display and walk and things we'll get into the um palace kind of they're doing a nutcracker showcase thing i've seen bits of it on instagram there's like loads of beautiful beautiful christmas trees it looks absolutely stunning so we managed to get tickets easily really they had lots of time slots left for the palace bit but for the walk like the trail which is probably super amazing and very picturesque um they only had an 8:45 slot which we could have done but it's a 90 minute trail and at 8 45 especially when we've got to drive over to over to our hotel which i think is about an hour further away it was just kind of too late and i was like chester at like nine o'clock it's going to be cold so yeah we just thought we would go and check out the palace and see the christmasy things so we're on our way now we are only nine miles away so it's very convenient stop off and something really lovely and unexpected that we didn't think we were going to do actually both really want to do so yeah we'll take you along with us and see what we get up to she bought at uh, Vista Village with some beauty products and I'll show you probably when we get to our hotel this evening but don't be full because it's really not this big they just had huge bags I actually think one of the things that made it more tricky is because today's Black Friday there are so many good deals online and I've been searching for deals all week so when you go to some of these shops at Vista Village even though they're like outlet shops the prices were more expensive than a lot of the things I'd seen online so I was like what is the point of me buying them when I could just go online and get it for a lot cheaper for example like the lms balms which i absolutely love the lms cleansing balm the bista village they do with 10 percent off which is great but online there's 35 percent off for black friday so there was absolutely no point in me 
buying that and paying that money. But I got a few little beauty bits and some actual steals. So um, I will, so I'll show you those bits when we get to the hotel later on. But yeah, first stop is Blenheim, Blenheim Palace, see the Christmassy showcase. And everything is wow, bright. This looks amazing. Everyone is happy. <sighs> Spirits are this is like a dream. I am sitting <laughs> here thinking along with my drink as I do this time of the What year. on earth? That is stunning. Do you remember? Love was around when we were alone. The talk of the town. When I'm sitting here drinking, I can't help but think about you, about us, as I do this time of the Remember me being with you Was that just a dream That never came true I am sitting here sinking Drink after drink As I do this time of the year Get you, I must have forgotten. I am lost in my memories. Pouring How fast it is. This has been 
the most lovely, lovely evening. It's so nice here. Highly recommend. If you are anywhere near local, definitely, definitely come. Just got some sweeties. I got myself some sweets from the Christmas market. We're gonna head for some dinner now, so I think we're gonna head to Hernando's, but we're gonna go closer to our hotel, because it's a bit of a drive away, and then we'll just be local to jump into bed. We're actually staying right near Luton Airport, so I think we might be able to watch some planes, like take off and things. But yeah, this has, this has been so, so lovely. Such a beautiful evening, definitely a spontaneous but highly festive time. We've had so, so much fun. So we've actually just come into the center of Vista for Anandos and currently walking through Sainsbury's. It's not really sure how to get there, but something chilled and then heading across to the hotel. We literally just walked out the door and here it was, amazing. So our Nando's has arrived. Jess has got his. Yeah, it's cold. Food. All right. Um, yeah. So Tress gets sunset burger, garlic bread, and peri chips. I get quite the combination. So half a chicken, rice, peri chips, and a wrap. And then I put the chicken and the rice, and sometimes even the chips in the wrap, and make like a Nando's burrito, which is amazing. And then the gravy's new for like the Christmas time, which is so good for the remaining like chicken that gets not dry, but you just want like a little bit extra sauce. It's so good. Definitely recommend such an elite Nando's order. Cheers, darling. <coughs> very nice and pleasant and just perfect for literally crashing for one night this is the bathroom in here which is lovely we love an led mirror nice shower yeah it'll do us just fine won't it see so just to end off this vlog i thought i'd show you the few little bits that i picked up in vista village so really not that many things but a couple of beauty products so firstly i got some of the mac fix plus this one i've actually been wanting to retry this for ages i used to use this when i was younger probably never really appreciated it that much and i've seen lots of people using it again recently so i'd been looking to try and get some in the sale and then and then this one was 15 pounds 50 which is the cheapest i've seen it it's also kind of like a special edition box i believe and spray so it's got these beautiful flowers on so i think it's called like the cherry blossom mac fix plus which i love and i used it to refresh my face during the day today and it worked a treat so very pleased with that and then i got this palette which is part of nars studio 54 range this is called the hustle cheek palette i don't know if it's available online but it's so beautiful. It has these gorgeous like blush colors and then a more highlight color. So that's gonna be so gorgeous. And the color payoff is beautiful. Um, and that was like 50% off, I think. So it was supposed to be 36 pounds and it was 18. So I love that and a little bit of sparkle makes it nice. And then I got, this was quite expensive. This was a Laura Mercier flat, um, pressed setting powder for shine control. Let me get out of the box and show you. So yeah, this is their translucent setting powder, but in a pressed form. And I've actually really been enjoying using pressed powders more than the loose powder. And I needed a new powder because I was completely out of mine. This one had a 25% saving on it. So I definitely thought it was still worth it. And it comes with a little applicator if you wanted to take it out and about. But I would usually use that with a brush. And then finally, I got this mascara, which is the Laura Mercier caviar volume mascara i have used this before it's very good for volume it's got quite a thick 
um, applicator. I'll show you it now. So firstly, I love the packaging. And then this is the applicator wand on it. So it is quite thick um, and picks up quite a lot of product. So you get really voluminous lashes. So that was a bargain as well, I think, at... 50% off, 40% off that one was, so it was £13.20, which instead of like £23, so that was really good buy. So not much we picked up out of all the shops, um, but definitely a few little beauty bits. So today has been a super long day, lots of driving, lots of travelling, um, so we're definitely going to be ready to get some sleep. My hair definitely needs a brush. It's been very windy and very, very cold today, you can definitely tell. Is getting into December and super super chilly so, so I'm gonna end the vlog here we're gonna snuggle down watch some I'm a celebrity on the TV and then just get a relatively early night because we're up pretty early in the morning as well at like 7 probably something like that so definitely need some sleep to recharge for a very busy day ahead tomorrow so yeah I'll end the vlog here thank you so so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button I would really really appreciate that and hopefully I'll see you in my next next episode of Vlogmas. See you soon! Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the room.